Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. The problem which we are going to see today is to print the missing elements that lie in the range of 0 to 99. So in this problem you will be given an array of integers and you have to print the missing elements that lie in the range of 0 to 99. So uh, there may be a case that uh, more than one element is missing. So if that is the case then uh, we collate them otherwise you print just the uh, single number. So there are a few considerations uh, which we need to take care about in this problem. Uh, the first one being that uh, the input array may not be in sorted order. So the elements may appear in any order. And this array may also contain the numbers which are outside the range of 0 to 99. So it may it might have an element say 150 or 200 but uh, we need to ignore that uh, number and we need to only uh, consider the range 0 to 99 and uh, we have to print the numbers basically which are in 0 to 99 only. Okay, so let us try to understand this problem with the help of a few examples. So in the first example we have this input array. So here we have the element 0. Then uh, 1 is missing so we print out 1. Then we have 2 and 3 here. Then the numbers from 4 to 9 are missing. Then we have a 10 here. Then the numbers from 11 to 87 are missing. Then we have 88 here. Then 89 to 99 numbers are missing. So we print 89 to 99. Uh, these two numbers are not within the range of 0 to 99. So we just ignore them. So this is our required output. Okay, so let's look at the second example here. So the numbers from 0 to 4 are missing because we have 5 inside the array. Then we have 6 also, then 7 and 8 are missing, then we have the 9 inside the array, then the numbers from 10 to 89 are missing, then we have uh, 90 here, then the numbers from 91 to 98 are again missing, and then we have the last element 99 here. The elements 100, 850 and 900. So these elements do not uh, lie in the range of uh, 0 to 99. So we just ignore them. Fine enough. Okay. So the expected time complexity is order of n, where n is the size of the input array. So we basically are looking at the uh, traversal of the array only once. Okay. So, uh, so let's look at the solution. So the idea is to basically use a Boolean array of size 100 and to keep track of array elements that lie in the range of 0 to 99. So uh, we are in, uh, will be having a uh, Boolean array of size 100. Uh, that is because uh, the elements from 0 to 99 are total, the total count of the elements is 100. So that is why we are having a Boolean array of size 100 and that uh, that array will be using. So we first traverse the input array and mark uh, such elements present in the Boolean array. So we are going to iterate over whole of the array and uh, we are going to uh, mark those elements, uh, whatever element we encounter is present inside this uh, Boolean array. So uh, once all the present elements are marked, so uh, once we are done with the traversing of the array and marking all those elements in the Boolean array, so uh, then uh, we'll use the boolean array to print the missing numbers. Uh, now let's look at the uh, code. So this is the driver function here. So in this driver function we have the input array and its size. Then we call the function print missing. So this will be the main function where we are going to implement our algorithm. Okay, so we pass as an argument the array and its size. So here is the function itself. So in this function, you see that uh, we take as an argument the array and its size. Uh, then we are initializing the array scene uh, as false. So limit uh, here will have the value 100. So we initialize an array of 100 elements uh, as false. So every value will be false. Then in this step, we are marking all the elements which are present in the array. Uh, so we iterate over the uh, whole of the array and then we basically do a sanity check that uh, area of i should be less than limit 
if it is greater than the limit uh, then we just have to ignore it so if it is smaller than the limit then we what we do is we uh, set it as true in the uh, in our uh, boolean map that is seen in this uh, in this case so after the mapping is done then we execute this part of the code so to print the missing element uh, we initialize i with zero so that is our index variable so till i is less than limit we see if uh, scene i is equal to equal to, is equal to equal to false so if that is the case then uh, we also check that if there are more elements so uh, we have a while loop here that if there are more elements uh, then we keep incrementing the value of j so j was initialized by i am plus one so we keep incrementing the value of j till we find a uh, till we uh, keep finding the false once we find a true uh, then we just break out of this uh, uh, this while condition so once we are done so we have the value of i we have the value of j so we see that if i plus one equal to j if that is the case then uh, there's just one element we have to print if that is not the case then we have to print the range so we do uh, print f uh, i and j minus one once that is done we uh, we update the index i with equal to j uh, that we are doing because uh, we have already considered the elements till index j now so that's why we need to update the element index element i here so we do this so while uh, this while condition uh, will be working and also uh, if uh, we do not find that uh, the scene i is equal to equal to false then also we just increment the value of i so at the uh, end of this function we would have printed all the numbers which are missing in the range of 0 to 99 yeah okay so that is all for this tutorial uh, do visit this link where you can find all the stuff which we discussed in this tutorial and you can also run the code firsthand and get a feel of it thank you very much